and welcome to the next video in our series. Today, we're going ahead with week two, day two. You'll notice if you participated in week two, day one, that a few of the moves are gonna be the same from there. We're just going to have them be a little bit longer. So, let's get right into it. All right, fam, let's get warmed up. We're gonna do two rounds of a few different moves. We're gonna do quick feet across our mat. We're gonna do some stretching. And then we're going to do a little bit of a walking butt kick. So let's get going. And by quick feet, I mean we're on the balls of our feet. And we're just going real quick from side to side in our mat. Just get nice and warm. And if you don't want to do that little bouncing action, you can just kind of quickly move left to right. Whatever works best for you and your comfort level and your ability today. Okay? So give me a few more of either quick feet or going just lateral little walks. Good. All right, now we're gonna stretch a little bit, bring our legs and feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, arms up out next to us, and we're just gonna stretch down and back up. Just a few of these, we're really just trying to stretch the whole body. Get the legs nice and stretched. Give us a moment to catch our breath after we've started to warm up a little bit. Good, a couple more of these. And then we're gonna go into a walking butt kick. And then we're gonna go back to those quick feet. Just to get nice and toasty. Good. You doing great? Give me two more. One and two, good. All right, now we're gonna do a walking butt kick. Now, you can do a normal butt kick when we're just going like so or you can just walk. Bend the knee, literally trying to kick our heel to our butt. So whatever works for you, you can do regular, we're gonna get more cardio here, we're gonna get a little tighter, a little quicker, we're gonna feel in our hamstrings quicker. Again, especially if we have weak hamstrings like I do. Nice, slow butt kick. Really just, again, bring in the circulation, get the blood flowing a little more. Make sure we're breathing. All right, now we're gonna go back to our shuffle. So, shuffle, quick feet, quick feet shuffle. We're gonna be nice and warm for this today. And again, if that's too much for you, we can just bounce, we can just walk, wherever you're at. Couple more little moves, then we're gonna stretch again. And I'm only going the length of my mat so I can stay in camera view for you. You can go much further. You don't have to, you don't have to go my length that I'm going. All right, good. Last few stretches here. Good, again, we don't have to go to all the way to our foot if we can't do it. What works for you? Slight so bend in those knees the whole time. We don't wanna lock them out. Good, okay, now we're gonna get back into those walking butt kicks. Again, if you can jump them, you can run them, that's fine. If you wanna run up and down a hallway area, if you wanna run up and down across your room, that's fine. Again, I need to stay in the camera space for you, so it's all good. All right, a little bit longer here. And then I'm gonna explain the workout a little bit and then we'll get right into it. few more. You can jog them. Grab them for me. Good. Okay, so before we get started today, I'm going to let you know that the moves we're going to do, I'm going to teach you them twice through. Feel free to complete them more than two times through. Completely up to you, your comfort level, your comfort level <laughs> and your ability and strength right now. So, first move, we're going to do a 90 degree hold with one leg, and then we're gonna do it with the opposite leg. But we're gonna hold it for 40 seconds, okay? So I'll show you that when we get into it. Then we're gonna do some, some knee pulls, then we're gonna go down on the ground, we're gonna do some glute bridges. And then, if you remember from last week, we did that lying leg raise with one knee bent. We're gonna do that again. And then we're gonna do that ball sit one more time. We're adding 10 seconds to it, so let's get it done. I know you're ready. All right, fam, so for this, Hold. Now, you can hold onto the wall, but the goal is to not have to hold onto the wall. So I'll show you going this way. 
We're gonna be on one leg, whichever leg you choose. Keep a slight bend in that opposite leg. And we're just gonna hold the opposite knee bent at 90 degrees. This one is really gonna generate a lot of heat, especially since we're holding it for 40 seconds. So, and if you need to put your foot down, that's okay. But this is really gonna help build the strength in those tiny little halberd muscles. And you'll be able to see kind of the weakness and the imbalances in either leg. So three, two, one, and switch. Good. It's been a 20 second break here. Shake it out, breathe. Because I'm making you holding it, hold everything longer and give you a little bit of a longer break. How nice of me. And get yourself situated and come on to the other side again. Now, left knee is where I'm at. This is my weak knee. I'm putting a slight bend in that knee and the opposite leg, I'm bending. And here we go, 40 seconds, holding it. Really feel the heat generate. Good, Woo. I'm starting to lose my balance. Gotta grab a wall, which is fine. Putting your hands here, putting your hands on your sides, bringing them in front of you, wherever you feel comfortable. And make sure, see my legs started to drop? Don't let it drop, keep that 90 degree hold. I'd rather you keep this hold and hold the wall than let this drop. Last few seconds and three, two, one. Woo. That one generates so much heat. So that 20 second rest is really, really nice. So shake it out a little bit. You're gonna feel just really warm in your legs, but it's good. Building a lot of strength here. So this 40 second one is great. We're gonna build up to a 90 second, 90 degree hold. So, Let's get into those wide knee pulls. Here we go. We're just bringing one knee up and bringing our, our arms down. Slow and controlled. Here we go, 40 seconds. Oh, now we only have 30 seconds. Good, and then after here, we're gonna go to the ground after our little break. This is a good cardio movement. Good just to get keep the knees bending. Using that core a little bit. Whew, I don't know if you heard that knee crack. Happens a lot after you had knee surgery. All right, and three, two, one, good. Now we're gonna head to the floor after our 20 seconds of rest here. Slowly come down to the floor, catch your breath a little bit. We're gonna hit some glute bridges for 40 seconds. No more hitting these glute bridges. We want our feet flat on the floor. Our knees bent, our back straight, and we're bringing our body up, and squeeze, and down. Good. Up, squeeze, down. Slow and controlled. Use your core, use your glutes. Squeeze at the top, it's really important. Good. Make sure you're breathing. You know, some people think this move is like a rest move. It's not. It's difficult. We're working here. A couple more seconds. Then we're gonna rest. Three, two, one. Good job. Rest for 20 seconds and then position yourself whenever you're ready for the next move. Remember, we're gonna have an opposite, our opposite knee up and the opposite leg down, and we're doing that straight leg raise, okay? A few more seconds here of rest. The joy of the longer. Work, we'll get a longer rest. All right, in three, two, one. Lift that leg, straight up, hold, and down. Lift up, and down. Good, you can put your hands on the floor, whatever you want to do. Put your hands on your stomach. Really, we're just making sure that we're focusing using that glute to raise, using that hamstring to raise, that we're not moving any other parts of our body to help us raise. This is all about isolating our hamstring and our quad to build the strength. Just a couple of more, slow and controlled. Make sure we're squeezing. Last one. Good job. You rest, I'll switch sides because I want you to see the opposite side a little easier. So I'm gonna raise this knee and straighten the other one and lay back down. And here we go in five, four, three, two, one, and go. Lower and raise. 
And if you notice, I'm going nice and soft and controlled. And I'm sort of flexing the foot at the bottom. So that's good. Go about as high as you can go and lower down. You don't have to hit the ground. It's more difficult if you, if you hit the ground, you're resting. That's okay. If you're at that stage right now, that's fine. But if you don't want to hit the ground and you come down, that's awesome. So you do you, you do your comfort level. Either way, you're doing great. And we're almost done. Listening to me babble, it's already over. One more. Last one. Good. All right. 20 seconds of rest here. Now we're adjusting back up to that wall sit. I know. I know. We, we love them. We hate them. We know they're great for us. A lot of 90 degree angles today. So in a few seconds here, readjust yourself. You get comfortable. And here we go in three, two, one. Hold that wall sit. 40 seconds here, really try to contract the, the core, really feeling it in our quads and our hamstrings, our feet are flat, our back is flat against the wall. Make sure we're not slipping. My rug is starting to slip, I can tell, but it's okay. Good. Hold, we're almost there. Last week was only 30 seconds. This week's only 40, we can do it. 10 more seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. Good job, woo! Shake it out. 20 seconds of rest here, and then we're gonna go back to the top with that 40 second hold, 90 degree angle hold. So shake it out, grab some water, do what you gotta do. And in a few seconds, we're gonna go right back to the top, get this done, and we'll be done for the day. All right, here we go. 90 degree hold, whichever knee you want. Bring it up, slight bend in the opposite knee, that foot is flat. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see a little better. Complete 90 degree angle. The opposite knee is slightly bent. This one's already starting to drag. Really focus on keeping it up. 40 seconds is a long time to hold something like this. If you need to hold onto the wall, that's fine. If you can't, that's, if you don't need to, that's even better. But it's more difficult that way. My leg just starts wanting to drop. So good on you if you didn't drop your leg, and I did. Three, two, one, good. 20 seconds of rest here. And you'll notice a lot of the, the battle with holding that 90 degree angle is the strength of the opposite leg holding the rest of you up. So that's half the battle, right? We're strengthening both sides just in a little bit different way. All right, now we're gonna switch sides. Slight bend in that opposite knee, bring in that 90 degree and hold. So I could tell that when I was flip-flopped going on the other side, why does my right leg want to drop? Because the left leg that's holding me up is a little bit weaker. And see, I'm losing my balance, but that's okay. We're just gonna re-go, re-pivot, re-come back, recenter. All about building strength, slowly. Hold that wall if you need to. We're almost done, 10 seconds here. You're really gonna feel a lot of soreness in your hips later, in your glutes, in your quads. And three, two, one. Good job. All right, 20 seconds of rest here. We've got our knee pulls next. Readjust yourself, stand on both legs for a moment. Woo! We're good, we're getting there. We're almost done. Sort of, we're about halfway through. All right, and three, two, one. Let's hit those knee pulls, bringing that knee up. And arms down next to us. Good. Trying to lose my balance here too. Uh oh. Good. And then we're gonna go to those lying leg raises and glute bridges and a wall sit. We've got it. Yeah, 40 seconds is a long time. I, I look at the timer. I'm like, oh, 20 seconds. Oh, that's because we started at 40. <laughs> Usually we're starting at 30. Full body cardio here. Didn't even know. Last two. One, two. Good. Shake it out. Adjust yourself to the floor. Let's hit those glute bridges after this break. Whew. Hear my knees crack. I don't know if you can hear it over the music. All right. Catch your breath. We've got about 10 seconds before we glute bridge. And five, four, three, two, one. Glute bridge up and down. 
all that weight going in those heels, in the flat of your foot. Up, down, good. Woo! Sweating, I hope, <laughs> I'm sure you are, I hope you are. A lot of slow and controlled isolating movements that are really gonna make us sweat more than we think they do. You think maybe, oh, I'm just you know, strengthening my knee a little bit. That doesn't mean the rest of the body's not working, right? The knee means we're strengthening the glutes. We're strengthening the quads. We're strengthening the hamstrings. We're strengthening those calves. It all works together. Last one. Good. All right. You can stay here and rest for 20 seconds. And we're going to go to that lying leg raise again. One knee up, opposite leg down. Slow and control when we come up in a few seconds. Remember to flex that foot. And again, if you hit the ground when you come back, that's fine. If not, that's even better. So try not to hit the ground. But if you do, it's no problem. Good. Keep it going. Good. We're halfway through. Slow and controlled. Remember, this is all about building strength and re-strengthening that injured area of our lower body. For me, it's my knee. For you, it could be a different muscle. It could be an ankle. All of this is great for you. Last one, Woo. Shake it out, 20 seconds of rest. I'm gonna flip over, you don't have to. Again, I just do this so you can see the opposite leg a little easier. And I bring my knee up and my leg down. And in a few seconds, this will be our last leg raise of the day unless you choose to continue the video and redo it again for a few more rounds, and that's perfectly fine. You do you. Sometimes I like to do a video like this in the morning and then again at night, even though it's like the same, same moves, same strengthening, or even we have two videos for you every week in our series here. You're more than welcome to repeat that video another time in the week. You don't have to only do first video, second video. You can repeat those again. So, wherever your comfortability is at. A few more. Three, two, one. Woo. I couldn't even finish that last one. All right, 20 seconds of rest here as we readjust to come back up to our feet for our final wall sit. Readjust yourself. We're sweating, we're getting strong. In a few seconds here, I'm gonna hit that wall sit, and we'll be done. Here we go. 90 degrees, back flat. Feet are flat on the ground. Feeling it, embrace the burn. Good, really feeling it. The glutes, the hamstrings, the quads. Don't look at the timer if you set one for yourself. I'm trying not to look at it for us. We're halfway through, we've got this. Breathe through it. Wall sits are one of the most difficult exercises for so many people. You've got this. A few more seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. Woo! As you can see, my mat started shifting and so did my rug, but that's okay. That means we're working hard. Thank you so much for joining me today. Again, feel free to repeat these exercises, whatever is your comfort level. Yeah, I can't wait to see you in week three.